Hello. Today I'm doing an abbreviated video, a really quick one, on doing pizzas on the Kamado cooker. Uh, I'm going to bypass all the basic stuff about uh, dough making and, uh, and cheese and cutting vegetables and get right to the chase as to how to make a good pizza on the Kamado grill. Alright, I said I wasn't going to do the cheese, but I do want to show um, the types of cheese I'm using. I'm using scamorza. Um, it, it's a uh, sort of an alternative to uh, mozzarella. It's got a lot lower moisture content in it. And it, and it stretches and tastes a, a very similar to mozzarella and I also mix it with a, a hard cheese and this is I think Parmigiano Reggiano or Pecorino Romano I can't quite remember but if you mix a hard cheese and a soft cheese you get a lot less moisture content on your pizza and a much less soggy pizza on the grill. Now it's time to, I, I got the grill going um, try to get the temperature up to about 350 and a good roasting temperature uh, what I did here for this for this uh, sauce that I'm making really quickly is um, I put my usual in, indirect setup on here. So I got a lower grate a pizza pan wrapped in foil underneath the main grate. And what I'm going to do is put on my uh, my Roma tomatoes with uh, fresh garlic, uh, sea salt, black pepper, and some other herbs. I'm going to put those under and roast them uh, well until roasted about a half hour is my guess. Okay, got them on and ready to roast. And they go for about a half hour. The, okay, the, oh look at that. Look at that, oh man. Look at that delicious roasted tomato and garlic. Some sea salt on there, black pepper and some uh, Italian herbs. Oh man, I'm gonna pull them off. All right, time to make the dough. Uh, what you do is that you just make whatever dough you have. I mean, there's probably a hundred thousand different recipes of pizza dough, so I'm not going to tell you how to make dough, but uh, here's my dough, fresh dough. So what I do is come in the smaller individual size pizzas, stretch it out by hand. I can do a better job if it wasn't on an angle, but uh, you pretty much just go ahead and make it into a pizza. And then when it's ready to go on, you can either uh, throw it on just like that or put a little oil on it. Smear it around a little bit, open the pizza, the, open the grill for the, for the pizza, and just throw it right on. You can stretch it out even a little bit. And then, and then and let that cook, let it firm up. Alright. Alright, let's turn this over. Nice and firm. Start to cook on one side. You don't want it to cook all the way through yet, you just want to firm them up. Because you're going to pull them off and then put toppings on them and put them right back on here. So you, all you want to do is cook them just long enough to get them firm like this. Alright, put the pizzas on. Got one there. And the thicker one there. Same dough, weight, just one thin, one thicker for, for, for the wife and I. Uh, you can see I, I uh, pureed the tomato sauce and put a little bit of mixed cheeses on there. Alright, time to pull them off. Alright, check that out. Looking pretty good. The smaller one, you can't see, but uh, it's got a nice, got a, a little bit of char around the edges, but it's nice and tan and brown right below. And uh, mine, my bigger one, you can see it's really nice and um, firm. The, the cheese is starting to golden, uh, turn golden colored, nice and uh, caramelization. Got a little bit of black and singe on the outside, but it's pretty much just a, an average crust. So, so uh, there you go. Let's go eat. All right, here you go. Delicious pizza bread right off the uh, grill. No pizza stone required. Just throw it right on the hot grill. Um, crunchy, delicious, and smoky. You gotta try this. It's good.